Lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Denny. So today's video is an anniversary video. So recently I celebrated my one year anniversary with my blog space with Love Denny being on its own domain. So in honor of doing that, in honor of hitting that milestone, I decided that I would do a with love Q&A to kind of reintroduce myself in a way so you know for people who just started following me you learn a little bit more about me and you know for those that's been rocking with me for a while first of all thank you so much but for those of you who've been rocking with me for a while this would be an opportunity for you guys to i guess know more about me so if you guys are ready we are going to get started okay so first of all if you guys are here like new here or you guys are returning and you haven't subscribed moment of silence because why but either way um if you guys haven't subscribed to me already go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell i'm trying to do better about consistency and showing you guys videos but how would y'all know if y'all ain't subscribed i'm just saying i'm just saying do yourself a service and hit that bell so you know whenever i'm doing new content like this video up leave me a comment i love talking to y'all but so the way that this is gonna go, I have a cute little app here called Pretty Random. Pretty Randomizer. Ready to go? Ready to go? Pretty Random. And so I put in numbers one through 25. It's going to give me a random number and I'm going to answer the question corresponding with what's on my iPad screen with the questions. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So we have the app ready, iPad ready. So first we're gonna shake and question number eight. So question number eight is advice for someone wanting to start blogging or YouTubing. Great question, first of all. Second of all, I know this may sound pretty cliche or pretty basic in a way, but at the same time, I don't think so. So one of my biggest pieces of advice that I give someone is to just start. Like however you start the thing is, is that you're starting anyway so when I first started doing videos when I first started blogging when I first started blogging I started blogging over on tumblr I had now I didn't have my own blog space I didn't have a whole bunch of followers I just really just started writing and I go into that a little bit on my blog post that kind of commemorates my anniversary I'll link that down below but honestly it's just about starting in general so I started writing I just started really writing down my thoughts and it kind of just went from there and as far as YouTube goes honestly YouTube was one of the things I was the most scared about but I started making videos originally on Facebook and I started with my iPad I didn't even have a cool camera or anything to get started I literally just started with my iPad and I used I don't know which editing software I was using in the beginning it wasn't iMovie but it was something but the point is it was a starting point and now we start from the bottom and look what we get don't get caught up in that the market is oversaturated or everyone's doing this everyone's doing that honestly I just feel like everyone may be doing it but it's not your voice question number 10 Number 10 is, what's your updated skincare routine and do you even, do you do both even when you're home all day? Okay, so updated skincare routine. I will actually show it in some videos I'm gonna post on Instagram, but basically my routines are a bit simple in my opinion, but I cleanse, I tone, I serum, and then Cleanse, tone, serum, moisturizer. During the day, I do SPF, and then at night, I pretty much do a double moisturizing type thing. But question number 15 Can you cook, and what's your favorite thing to cook? So, I definitely can cook. I love to cook. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, I'm not side eyeing you, but it would behoove you to. <laughs> but um, on my Instagram, I have a little highlight. A foodie highlight where I show food that either me or my family have cooked or when I go out to eat or we'll go and get food but um let's see what's my favorite thing to cook okay one of my favorite things to cook but it takes the longest in my opinion is lasagna I love making lasagna lasagna is so good 13 
That is, what are some of your tips for dealing with eczema during the hotter months? So if you guys are new here, or if you guys didn't know, I struggle with eczema. It's primarily on my hands now. When I first started YouTube and making videos on Facebook, it was on my neck really bad, but hey, look, it's not really too bad anymore. Progress! But it's primarily on my hands and my arms and sometimes on my legs, but when it gets hot is when it gets really annoying. So one of my favorite things to do when it comes to eczema, first of all, I don't know what other people do, but I still put on my skincare cream even if I'm going out, like, outside or out in the sun especially when I used to be a camp counselor I would do that and then I'll seal it with sunscreen it won't itch too bad but I always keep that cream on me so that way if I have to reel throughout the day and then reseal it it's fine works like a charm I also use um, La Roche Posay has this it's like a body wash and I use that first and then I use my regular Olay body wash so those are kind of my go-to things and sometimes I also try my best to, especially when it's really hot, I try my best to avoid dairy early in the morning before I'm going out. I don't know why, but I notice that when I don't drink milk or anything with milk in it before going out in the sun, my eczema doesn't itch or irritate me that bad. Maybe it's a dairy thing, maybe it's a sun thing, I don't know. but those are my things six number six is who is one of your dream collaborations and what thing would you create with them oh my gosh okay so I have two ideas that I thought about so the first one I think would go really well with colored rain because their palettes are very pigmented and they're very colorful so what I would love to do with colored rain I would love to do a Mardi Gras themed palette because I love Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is one of my favorite things to start my year out. And so Mardi Gras is something me and my family always do together too. So it always feels very family oriented, very fun. And I know there's been carnival palettes, but like if we're talking just Mardi Gras, I would love to do a Mardi Gras palette and I would love to do it with colored rain. And I mean, I'm thinking those deep royal purples, that beautiful, a beautiful gold, a very a gorgeous green, and then uh, there would have to. I know it sounds really random, but it would have to be like a red in there too, because the whip you have the Mary, you have the Mary mistresses of Joe Kane, the weeping widows of Joe Kane. So I feel like doing things with those would be fun, but I feel like it would just be a really random and cute palette. But a, another themed palette that I would love to do, but I think it would be more of a series, but I think it would be cooler to do with ColourPop because they have so many different branches of series. I would love to do a Zodiac series, but I would like to do it with different colors. Like I had to think about it, but I would have to do it with different colors because every time I see Zodiac palettes, they always give Capricorns like the dullest of colors. I don't know why we get all the dull colors like it's usually some silver that's not really silver so it comes out looking really gray and muddy or it's this really dark brown green looking shade and it just looks really gross so <laughs> i would love to do a zodiac theme where the colors are really pigmented and pretty they're actually workable and I would love to do them based upon, you know, you can kind of mix and match, like build your own big three set. So number four, if you can go on an all expenses paid trip, where would you go? So if you guys know me, you know that I love traveling like so much and I can't wait until things are better so I can travel. I love, I miss the, I miss the feeling of walking through the airport. like. <laughs> I know that's weird, but I miss the feeling of legitimately walking through the airport. But all expenses paid, I will go to either Zurich, Switzerland, just because I've been obsessed with that place and so has my family forever. I will go to either Zurich, Switzerland, or I will go to Santorini. Santorini is gorgeous. Question number two, style inspiration. So 
I know somebody is gonna think that this is weird. Somebody will. However, I grew up playing with Bratz dolls and I grew up obsessed with my Bratz dolls because I always thought that they were so cute, just, you know, theoretically living in their own little world, you know. They were always fashionable and cute and I had so many of them and they just, there was so much diversity and they were just so adorable. Like their clothes and their shoes, like everything was adorable to me. So my love of fashion peaked really early. And so I guess that's another reason why I love really chunky heeled shoes, platform shoes, mainly because of them. But also because I grew up watching that so Raven. And Raven Simone was one of my favorite fashion idols back then. <laughs> like, honestly, Raven was my fashion idol. It was like every every Disney movie Raven was in too, like her fashion was always like top tier. And I loved it. But also I love street fashion. So I love watching, I love seeing what Rihanna wears when she's going to different engagements or just going places from here to there because her fashion is always top notch. Like number seven so favorite product from each category right now I'll be right back I disappeared so that I can go and grab things because I remember that I forgot to grab things but favorite products from each category so from skincare first of all the Clarins hydrating toning lotion has been my favorite toner right now it's just really clean smelling it's with aloe vera and saffron flower extracts and it's for normal to dry skin <sighs> it smells so good <laughs> but this is the cleanser well cleanser this is the toner that i use in the morning i first tried it out with um no i first tried it out with an influencer box box and so then i ended up buying the full size during the sephora sale and i just love it honestly it's just a really really good toner so there's that also another two things that i've been loving skincare wise is the duo from topicals so you have the faded cream and then you have the like butter which is more of a moisturizer and together these things have been they've been og really and i love it um i've been using the faded cream to help fade some of my darker eczema marks and help with hyperpigmentation and let's see you can't really see it that well, but I've been having issues. I'll report it and show it, but I've been having issues in the creases of my arms since I was a kid with my eczema being just wreaking havoc hyperpigmentation wise on my skin. So I picked up the faded cream to kind of help fade those out and start eating my skin tone out. And the like butter goes on top. Well, you can use it just anywhere, but I really put it on top to kind of seal that in. But also use it on my hands with my eczema. Next, favorite products in the makeup category, um, which is crazy, but it's two complexion products actually. And the first one is the Rare Beauty Foundation. I actually really, really love this foundation and I loved it more than I thought I was going to, which I just, honestly, it's just a really, really nice lightweight foundation. And I've been wearing it a lot recently i'm not wearing it today like in this video but i've been wearing it a lot recently and the formula is just really nice it looks really good on my skin it's perfect shade match and it feels like i'm wearing nothing but my other foundation which i actually am wearing in this video is the skin by minted foundation stick oh also in the rare beauty foundation i'm shade 430w and in the minted skin by minted foundation stick this is how it looks but in this foundation stick i'm shade l30 but i really do love this foundation stick it just glides on my skin like butter and it buffs out really soft really beautifully and it doesn't take much to make my face look good and i really really like that Fragrance wise, I've really been loving the Valentino Born in Roma Donna, Valentino Donna Born in Roma uh, fragrance. And I talk more about this fragrance in, oh gosh, I'm about to talk more about this fragrance in my Sephora video. So if you guys haven't seen that one, I will link it below. But it has vanilla in it and it just smells so freaking good and although it has vanilla in it it's not necessarily a sweet fragrance like it's not the vanilla is not overpowering but oh my gosh 
can't stop smelling like it. it smells so good <laughs> and my hair product that i've been using the most has been the naturally africa braid moisturizing spray and it's formulated with tea tree oil and vegetable protein so this spray is one that i've just been spraying all throughout my hair when i had my braids in and even now with um me wearing a wig like i'll spray it under my you know on my natural hair before i put my well, my wig on but it's an amazing spray they sell it at target and it's really just it's moisturizing for the hair but it also just gives this if your hair is itching it gives this amazing relief to it and if you have any type of box braids in or you're planning on getting box braids i recommend getting you a bottle of this spray immediately number 17 what's your favorite color or current nude color so my favorite color is purple and i love i just love purple purple just makes me happy but as far as my current mood color, I would have to say one of my current mood colors is this dark army green, dark olive green, sage green, something like that. But my nails are this color and my phone case, the back of it is this color and my purse <laughs> is this color. So I would say that my mood color right now has been that olive green. Question number five. So question number five is what helps you with your anxiety and stress? So stress and anxiety are two things that I talk about a lot on my blog and I will be writing another blog post kind of updating my progress with my, my journey with it myself since this month is Mental Health Awareness Month. So things that help me with my anxiety and my stress is meditation I love to meditate I also love to do yoga I love to write and when I mean write sometimes I write about my thoughts sometimes I just write random things short stories or I work on the books that I'm trying to write um, writing is just very therapeutic to me so even if it doesn't go anywhere it is still helpful it's still therapeutic so I love that. I love to color or draw. Um, my iPad, I found this really cool app to color and I just got a new stylus so I love doing that. Um, listening to music is definitely a thing and when like to culminate the entire day if I'm doing a day where I'm trying to de-stress or keep the anxiety at bay I'll light a candle and I'll go and take me a nice long bath and those are things that I love to do to just keep me feeling centered and keep me just feeling very zinned out. So I have a whole playlist for kind of self-love and chill type music and I will link that down below. It's on Spotify so if you don't have Spotify I'm sorry. Question number 25. Favorite TV show you've watched recently or a favorite one you've revisited? Okay. Now, favorite TV show that I have watched recently that I love, of course, I've been watching Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I've been watching WandaVision again. Um, <laughs> I've watched, like, we fin me and my boyfriend finished WandaVision um, back during spring break, but I decided to start rewatching it just because I really do love it. So, those are shows that I watched recently that I really like, but shows that I've, well, what else have I watched? I feel like I've started watching a lot of other things um i started greenleaf and y'all can blame my hair lady for that because she always put me on the good drama shows so i started greenleaf um i've started you over again because i never finished it i never kept going so i started you over again and there's something else i'm missing oh snowfall pose and pea valley those are other ones and then we have shows that I've revisited so I tend to go back and watch Gossip Girl a lot <laughs> so um, Gossip Girl has been a show that I've revisited um Static Shock is on um I think it's on HBO Max now and I revisited that and The Nanny is also on HBO Max and so that's also been a revisit um that's a raven because it's on Disney Plus and also Liz McGuire. So those are my shows. 24. So favorite movie you and your boyfriend have seen together? Ooh. 
Okay, so anyone who asks this is paying very close attention because me and me and boyfriend have gone on movie dates not so much because of the pandemic. Um, recently, we went and saw Mortal Kombat, and it was the first time we had seen a movie in theaters in like two years. So there's that. But favorite movie that we've seen together? That's hard actually <laughs> I think that my favorite movie that I've enjoyed watching with him um one of our first dates he took me to see Black Panther and that was a wonderful experience to have with him seeing it for the first time and you know doing it with him but another one that was fun was watching Guardians of the Galaxy because I love the soundtrack to Guardians of the Galaxy because I love all the old school music and so it was my first time seeing it, it wasn't his first time seeing it but when we were watching it together <laughs> I remember singing along to literally every song that came up so um, he thinks it's cute so it was also I just love that movie but it was it was a fun experience 20 favorite Marvel movie Oh, favorite Marvel movie. That's hard. So I'm gonna name like four. <laughs> so favorite Marvel movies will have to be um, Doctor Strange, Thor Ragnarok, um, Iron Man three, and Captain America: Winter Soldier. Honorable mentions will have to go to Black Panther and um, I want to say the oh yeah the original Avengers. So yeah, those are honorable mentions. Oh, and um, Ant Man and the Wasp. Teen, would you go skydiving? Definitely. Question number twenty one. Favorite scene from a video game? So <laughs> a couple come to mind, but the one that I can think of off the top of my head that makes me laugh the most, honestly, is in Borderlands 3, there is part of the game where you are on the planet Eden 6, so it's very swampy, and you meet the characters, uh, Wayne Wright Jacobs, and you basically, you're trying to also get the bolt key but basically you're going through the mansion which is Jacob's family mansion and basically at some point in the playthrough Jacob starts roasting <laughs> Troy which is one of the villains and he has a couple different lines for him throughout this entire part of the map but the funniest part to me is honestly in the beginning um, Troy sitting up here having this grand I'm a villain speech and I'm so big and bad and then here comes Jacobs and he shoots him with a double barrel shotgun and he stops talking but then they keep drawing back and forth but it's the part at the end Jacobs literally <laughs> says well come get me you rat face b word a s t a r d <laughs> and it honestly it kills me every time like literally 22 um, what are five of your favorite songs you've listened to lately? Oh, that's... Okay, five songs that I love that I've listened to lately. Dang. That's hard. <laughs> but, okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, one song I'm listening to now in the background is Dancing by Black Party. Love that song. Two, Leave the Door Open by Silk Sonic. Grandma Wise and the back. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Get Away by... Oh, I can't pronounce this girl's name. Asaya... Asaya... Uh, I love her name, and I love her, her, her voice, but I'm popping them up too, so... Uh, that's three. Four. Too Bad by Duckworth. And number five... Mm. Oh. Ooh Ah by Miguel. <laughs> and what keeps you motivated as an influencer? Whoa. Okay, so something that keeps me motivated is just like the amount of fun that I have doing what I do. Honestly, I enjoy the entire process that comes with being a content creator and being an influencer. It's just, it's fun to me from taking pictures of things to you know pitching to brands even though it used to scare me I honestly love you know telling brands what I have to offer them in order for them to see if they want to work with me or not it's nerve-wracking but it's still fun to me 
Uh, blog writing is always fun to me. And also bringing you guys playlists every week is fun. So every aspect, even recording videos, and even though editing can get really annoying sometimes, every step of the way that it comes to being an influencer or a content creator, honestly, I love. So it's the love and the passion that goes behind those things that keeps me driven to and motivated to want to continue doing what I do. So question number three, what's your big six on your chart? You must have an Aries somewhere. <laughs> okay, so whoever sent this question, first of all, you are dead on. I do have Aries in my chart somewhere. However, my big six, so if you guys are not really into Zodiac stuff, um, I don't know what to tell you because I love it, but I think it's fun. I honestly think it's fun to read. But your big six is your sun sign, your moon sign, Mercury, Venus, Mars, and your ascendant or rising. So my sun, moon, and Mercury and Mars are all Capricorn. <laughs> my Venus is an Aquarius and my um, rising is Aries. Ooh, question number 12. What is the most random thing you've purchased during your family quarantine period? During that period, there have been a, there's been a very big influx of online ordering and online shopping here. So as far as the most random thing, I think the most random thing as a family that has been purchased, maybe a juicer. <laughs> but I mean, it was we got the idea because Colored Rain sent me their Juicy Boost collection. And I mean, there were recipes for juicing in it. And I actually, I ended up on their Instagram page because me and my dad were trying it out one morning. But I think that's one of the most random purchases that we've made like as a family throughout the entire quarantine. I can't think of anything else. All right, question number 23. What are your go-to pair of shoes right now? Ooh. <laughs> okay, so my go-to pair of shoes right now that I've been wearing is probably in between two pairs and it goes back and forth for the simple fact that the weather's been flip-flopping back and forth lately. But one pair are these white Fila Disruptor sneakers. Uh, my boyfriend bought them for me when we were on spring break and they're just so freaking comfortable. I've worn them with so many outfits already. They're just really comfy and they're really cute. And I love wearing white sneakers in the spring and summertime. I don't know why, but it's just undefeated combo. And the other pair of shoes that I've been wearing a lot of are these really cute sandals from Target. And I'm going to pop pictures up. But these really cute um, sandals from Target. They are from the Target brand Universal Thread. And they're just the cutest platform um, sandals. Like I just really love platform sandals. And those are really comfy. I bought them for spring break. And they feel almost like memory foam or something in the soles. I'm not sure if there is, but they're just really comfortable. And I have no problems walking around for long, in long distances with those sandals. Okay, so I went and got my sandals. Um, the sneakers, I think they're downstairs because I left them downstairs because I don't know if I'm gonna go anywhere later. But I got the sandals and so this is what they look like. They're just really cute platform sandals. Like I said, they're the Target brand Universal Thread, and they were, I looked them up, they were $29.99. These are the Gia platform sandals, but they're just really comfy, and the soles are really, really comfortable. So when me and my boyfriend were away for spring break, well, I went to visit him. We didn't go really away, but I went to visit him, and when we went to the outlets one day, I walked around in these sandals for about two hours, maybe but they were really comfy. My feet didn't start hurting at all. And sometimes I had that issue because I'm pretty flat footed. So <laughs> sometimes walking in long distances without some type of support from the sole will just bother my feet. But in those sandals, I had no issues all day. Question number 14. So what's one extreme sport that you've tried and would do again or one that you want to try for the first time? So I haven't done it yet, but I've been eyeballing it for the longest and that is snowboarding. I grew up watching the Winter X Games, so I enjoy, I've always enjoyed watching it, but I would love to actually just be able to snowboard. Question number 16 is, oh my, I found out, okay. Question number 16 is favorite product or products you've bought from a black owned brand this year? Okay, so I have a couple. 
y'all know I love any any opportunity to talk about black owned brands on this channel. So I got a couple of them to share with you. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, two products from the lip bar. The first being the Shimmer Balm with Argan and Jojoba Oil, and it's in the shade Clearly. And the Juicy Luxurious Lip Serum. So the lip serum is part of a duo called the Pamper Your Pout Lip Care Set. Well, kit. And so you get this, and you also get the Rockstar Lip Scrub together, and it's $11. But honestly, and I love the lip scrub too, don't get me wrong, but... As far as just favorite, favorite, favorite products, this lip serum, my lips be so smooth, so hydrated, so quenched, just chef's kiss. Like, Evans, if you guys want to shop with me, I do have a code that you guys can shop the lip bar with me. I'll put it down below. Y'all can save some money. Everybody wins. Okay, so the next product I want to talk about is from LYS Beauty. And LIS Beauty is the one of the newest brands in Sephora, black owned and clean brand in Sephora. They are the first black owned clean brand in Sephora. So round of applause for that. But the product that I want to talk about is their higher standard satin matte cream blush. So I've been just loving satin, well, cream and liquid blushes here lately. But I have the shade, this is self-love. Like, I just want you guys to see how beautiful this is. Honestly, it's just, it's really a beautiful blush. And it's one of my favorite blushes right now. Self Love is uh, described as a rosy mauve. And she's just really cute on me. And on top of that, LYS's packaging is just really, really cute to me. I love how everything's triangular shaped. Next is the Skin by Minted Foundation Stick. So I did mention this earlier in the favorites category for each beauty category that I did. But this foundation stick has been, like I said, it's one of my favorites. And it's one of the favorite black owned products that I have bought all year. Uh, these retail for $30. But if you buy it off of the Minted Cosmetics website, you can for ten dollars more for forty dollars you can get the foundation stick and whatever shades you need plus a buffing out brush so that's what i did i bought myself one and i bought more for my mom but y'all i have no you see this base right i know y'all see this face i done been out because i had um breakfast early with my boyfriend i've been out came back everything else and my face still looks good okay this is my go-to foundation stick like for day-to-day -day, just out running errands but still trying to look cute yeah this is my go-to foundation next is the male skincare and i feel like i'm saying this wrong oh, my but is the male skincare even tone post cleanse tonic so this is my tonic that i use toning toning tonic whatever this is what I use at night this is my nighttime toner and honestly I really love it it has it has the most interesting smell to me because sometimes it reminds me of maple syrup for some reason but but don't think that it's like really sweet because it's really not it's not a sweet smelling toner it just for some reason reminds me of pancake syrup don't buy, look smell it for yourself and my last product from a black owned brand is this really cute bucket hat. Y'all, I have been obsessed with this really cute lips bucket hat for the longest ever since I first saw it. It's from Sage White Beauty. Shout out to her. Uh, this is just the cutest bucket hat. I haven't, I've worn it, but like in the house. But it is the cutest bucket hat. Like, like how can you not, hold on, I'm going to put my line put my line in the bag y'all ignore me but okay it's still whatever the point is isn't this the cutest bucket hat like i can't wait to style me some cute outfits during the summer wearing my cute bucket hat like i am obsessed it's just so cute and also i got some really cute stickers from her but this is the only one i put on it's on my laptop but isn't she cute like her stuff is just so cute to me. And now that I'm obsessed with this bucket hat, I know I'm gonna have to buy my mama one. Cause my mama's gonna see it and she's gonna be obsessed too. But, okay, so question number 
19 is what's your favorite video game right now and what's one that you've recently beaten so favorite video game right now is apex legends <laughs> i play apex literally all the time and well i'll say that my favorite games right now is it'll be between apex and gears 4 5 but i play apex literally almost every day except for maybe a I went maybe a week or two without playing Apex, but ever since I started last year, I've just been loving it, and I've gotten better and better, so yeah, that's my game, and if you guys play, I main, my mains when I play are Lifeline, Bangalore, and Revenant, so if you guys want to play with me, I'll put my gamer tag, I'll pop it up, and I'll put it down below, but I put it on Xbox, but Apex does support crossplay, so if you guys want to play with me and you aren't on Xbox, we can still play together. I don't mind playing with you guys. You guys will probably be very fun to play with. But another game that we've recently beaten, because we've been going through collections and playing them, we recently beat Halo 2. We are playing inside of the Halo Master Chief Collection. So we recently beat Halo 2 and we recently started Halo 3. So that is where our progress is. But yeah, so your girl's been gaming a lot here lately. <laughs> Alrighty, so those are all of our questions for this Q&A video. Um, I hope you guys had a fun time watching. I had a fun time making it. And thank you so much for your questions. You guys can drop me new questions if you want to and see if they make it into the next Q&A video. Cause like I said, I have questions left over from this time that I can do for another Q&A video at some point in time. So if you guys want to see your question there, you can drop it below in a comment or you can send them to me on my various social channels, wherever you want to drop a question, you can. But that's all for this video. Hope you had fun. I had fun. Um, again, shout out to all my black owned brands that I named, honey. And if you guys want to shop the lip bar, you can down below. If you guys like my ring, um, Anna Louisa, New York, you guys can shop my link down below with them too. Um, but out of the way, that's all for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week until you see me again. Bye.